Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Good Thursday morning, I'm Bree Groves. It is February the 4th and this is your News 5 update. The defense team in the Dante Lucas murder trial will have their chance to cross-examine the prosecution's witnesses today. And one of those witnesses says that he was in jail with Lucas and claims that Lucas told him that he'll never be convicted of Kelsey's murder because investigators will not be able to locate her body. The other witness to take the stand just yesterday was Shelling's mom, Laura Saxton. Our News 5's Colette Bordelon is in the courtroom today. We will bring you updates on air and online. Today, there is a free COVID-19 test site opening from 9 to 4 on the southeast side of the Springs. The state is making sure that tests are available to neighborhoods where people of color are hit hard. You're going to get a phone call with your results in 48 to 72 hours. And organizers say the event is for everyone, even if you don't have symptoms and just want to be safe and get tested. The El Paso County Joint Information Center releasing a statement saying that the county has not received the number of vaccine doses that it should have based on our population. The statement says the state health department is aware of the discrepancy and working to fix it. Starting Monday, North Cheyenne Canyon Road in Colorado Springs closed from the entrance gate all the way up to Helen Hunt Falls. It'll be weekdays as crews build a temporary bypass around the bridge that needs to be replaced. The park will still be open to hikers. You can get to Helen Hunt Falls from Gold Camp Road. And now to your forecast on a weather alert morning with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Well, our temperatures today, it, it's rough in the morning, but it will get better in the afternoon. Now we have those slick conditions early this morning, north to Denver, south from Pueblo to Trinidad. But with the sun out, we should feel a little bit better. Problem is tonight we are going to follow up this day with some pretty cold air. Temps drop into the teens, could be a touch of refreeze in a few areas. And tomorrow back into the 40s. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.